jabu mpenzi mtazamaji na karibu katika kipindi chetu cha neno la neema. Kwa majina yangu ni mshungaji Michael Wanderi kutoka kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship hapa mjini Kiambu. Kwa sasa na kualika kuungana na wengine kanisani tuweze kubarikiwa kwa ujumbe kamili. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Biblia inasema ya kwamba without faith it is impossible to please and to be satisfactory to him for whoever would come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. Hallelujah. Biblia inasema ya kwamba pasipo imani ni gumu kumpendeza Mungu. Without faith, without faith, listen to this, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Brethren, nigetaka niseme ya kwamba kama kuna jambo ambalo tutalitenda limpedeze buwana, lazima tulitende kupitia kwa imani. Lazima tulitende kupitia kwa faith. Be it worshipping, praising God, be it in the area of our giving, if we have no faith, we cannot please God. Hatuwezi tukampendeza buwana. Buwana apewe sifa. Hallelujah. Na faith ni ya maana zaidi, ukizoma wakati ambao, Yesu anamtokea Petro. Haka muambia Petro, Shetani ameomba ruhusa akupepete kama gano. Akurusha lushe. Na Yesu akamwambia lakini nimeombea imani yako. I have prayed for your faith not to fail. Nimeombea imani yako ikaweze kusimama. Watu wa Mungu ningetaka niwaeleze ya kwamba kuna wakati ambao wewe unafika mtu anasimama na kuombea imani yake. Pasipo kuombea ile imani yako, ukweli ni kwamba hawezi. Kuna wakati ambao itafail. Ol kuna ule uwezekano ya kwamba ufike mahali usikie mkono wako wa imani hauko. It is impossible to please God without faith. Kwa hivyo kuna njia ya kumkaribia Bwana. Tumkaribie Bwana kwa imani. Na imani ni nini? James anasema ya kwamba faith without action is dead. Kwa hivyo imani ni kuchukua hatua. It is to take a step. It is to take a step. Hata kama hilo hatua iko dhaifu namna gani, Mungu anahesabu hiyo ni imani. That is faith. Na ripoza unaona watu wengi ambao Yesu walikuja kwa Yesu wakapona. He said these words that your faith has made you whole. Your faith has healed you. Kwa sababu ni wao walimkujia Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna mahali ambao neno la Bwana linasema mwanamke aliyetokwa na damu kwa miaka nyingi. Ambaye alikuwa ametumia pesa zake na madaktari na waganga wa kila aina. And then the Bible says she was no better. Every time akienda hata kama ni hospitalini ha, hakuna hakuna tiba. And then the Bible says, akaamua akasema ya kwamba, nimekuwa nikisikia. Listen to this. Nimekuwa nikisikia habari za Yesu. I've, heard, I've been hearing the reports about Jesus Christ. But the day she decided, I'm taking a step. That is what it is called faith. Ninachukua hatua. Niede. Niguze pinde ya vazi yake. Hiyo diyo ilikuwa nini? faith wakati alikuwa anasikia na hashukui any step well, that was not faith faith iliingia wakati alisema nitainuka na akainuka faith sio kuketi chini na kusema ya kwamba i know there is god i know i know i believe i have faith no faith ni kitu ambacho kinaonekana shukua hatua ukishasema ya kwamba i know 
Mungu atateda kitu shukua hatua. Hiyo hatua unashukua ndio inafanya Mungu akuje. The Bible says wakati ule madamu alimguza Yesu na damu ikakosa kutoka tena. Yesu alisema ah kuna mtu ameniguza. Somebody has touched me. Look at his disciples. Watu walio msalaud. Walisema namna gani ah si unaona watu ni wengi wanasukumana. Lakini Jesus Christ insisted. Hao hao wanasukumana wananiguza, wananiguza sio kwa imani. Lakini kuna mtu ameniguza. Nimesikia kuna nguvu zimenitoka. Sikia, Yesu anasema namna gani? Ninasikia kuna nguvu zimenitoka. Hizo nguvu hazikutoka kwa hiari yangu. Nimesikia kuna nguvu zimenitoka, kuna mtu ameniguza. Yule mama dia alikuja akasema ni mimi, nimekuwa na shida ya miaka miwili. Nimepoteza pesa nyingi kwa mandatari na nini na ugonjwa wangu haukuisha. Hauku Saa hii nimesikia nimepona. Yesu alimwambia namna gani dota? Your faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. Faith ilikuwa ni nini? Let me tell you something. Wakati tunakuja kwa Yesu, Yesu atuguze. Believe you me, that is not faith. But when we come so that we can touch Jesus, that is faith. Faith is when I come to touch Jesus. If I touch him, all my problems, all my trials, all my temptations, zimeondoka. Lakini kanisa, kwa muda mrefu na mungu wame niyabia inibadilisha mawaza ya watu. Kwa muda mrefu wamefanya mambo faithless, without faith. Because wanakuja so that Jesus can touch them. So they come. They wait for Jesus to touch them. But if you have faith, Unakuja ili uguze Yesu. Naambiwa kuna watu wengi wameniguza. Kuna watu wengi wanaona wamesukumana hapa. Lakini ana insist no, kuna mtu ameniguza guvu zimenitoka. Hazije nitoka kwa hiari yangu, sio kwa kupenda zimenitoka. Kuna mtu ameniguza na uguzo wa imani. Mimi ninauliza, ni mpaka lini nitafika kwa hiyo madhabahu? Niguze Yesu. Niguze moyo wa Yesu. I just want to touch his heart. I want to touch him. That is what we call faith. Munaona kanisa inaweza ikawa kwa level moja. Naomba muondoke katika hiyo level. Level moja ya ya kwamba sisi tumekuja. Tumekuja tuguzwe na Yesu. Toka kwa hiyo level. Kuja uguze Yesu. Praise the name of the Lord. Buwana apewe sifa. Ni kushukua hiyo hatua. Kuna level moja. Mungu ni nzuri. Ni nzuri kwa level ya, ya church. Ni nzuri it is a good level ya church. Ya kwamba Jesus will touch. Lakini kuna level ya juu kuliko hiyo. I have come so that I can touch Jesus. If I only touch the hem of his garment, my problems, my woes are over. Hiyo ni level ikine. Lakini church inakuaga kwa hii level. Church iko kwa hii level. Lakini nashukuru Mungu mimi nimetoka hapo. Kwa level hii ya Jesus is moving. Na unasikia kabisa Yesu anatembea. Lakini hiyo ni level nzuri when God and Jesus is moving. Lakini level ya juu ya kanisa ni wakati they are moving with their faith. I am moving. Nimefika mahali ambao it is me who is moving now. Na nikisha chukua hatua God is joining me. That is God's faith. You remember brethren? You remember brethren? Second Kings chapter 7. Where the Bible says that four men who are, who are, who are, who are, who are with three prose or they, 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 they were sick with three prose. Wamekua outcast. Wamekua inje alango ya Samaria. Wakiwa wameketi hapo. Na hawana nini vidole imekatika. Wamegojeka. You know inje. Ya Samaria. Wameketi mahali pale. Wameulizana. I want to show you what is faith. Wanaulizana. Tukienda huko dani. Tupiga piga waturudishe. Tuwaombe kwa hisani yao waturudishe. Kuna jaa tutakufa. Na hii ni kabi ya adui. Washami wameweka hema zao mahali pale. Asema. Ni gani itatufa? Tukae hapa. Mpaka tukufe. Tukiwa tumegojea. Ama tuigie dani tukakufe na watu wetu. Ama tushukue hatua. Tuende kwa kambi ya washami. 
So they decided. Let me tell you, brethren, when it comes to faith, lazima mutu ajiulize some very hard questions. Very, very hard questions. Yeah. Lazima wewe ujiulize maswala magumu. Nikae hapa mpaka nikufe, hapana. Nikae hapa mpaka nikufe. Anasema no. Anasema atutaka hapa mpaka tuku. Tuende kwa hii kambi ya adui. Let's go to the tents of our enemies. If they kill us, we die. But if God, listen, gives us victory, then we'll have it. Wakamua kashikana. And they decided. Na hatuwa zao ni thaifu sana. Thaifu. Maana wako na vinonda. They are white with reprosy. So as they were walking, listen, they were walking, struggling to walk because wako na vinonda. My Bible says that God exaggerated their steps. Adui kule wakasikia ni kama nini? A, 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 jeshi la washami ni kasikia ni kama mafalasi wanakuja bio. God exaggerated their steps. Wakasikika gurumo kama ni chariots zinakuja. So maadui wakaamua kutoloka. Wakaacha hema zikiwa na maguo. Wakaacha hema zikiwa na chakula. Wakaacha silver and gold. Wakati waligia hapo wakasama, wa, we have everything in abundance here. Wakashukua gold, wakashukua silver, wakakula mwisho, wakasema, our people are dying in Samaria. Situende tuwaitie. Hao tu wakashikana tena. Wanashechema tu. Wanaenda. Wanaenda. Wakafika kwa gate. Wakambia ya kwamba, our brothers and sisters, don't die there. There is enough food outside here. There is enough gold outside here. Not your nilonia. What people that were willing to take a step of faith. Hawana guvu, lakini wanafanya nini? Wanatembea hivi pole pole. Wao ambao walikuwa wametupwa nje, ndio walipatia watu wa Samaria chakula. Kupitia tu kwa kitendo ya do we sit here and die? If God is going to do something in your life, you must ask yourself this question. Do I sit here and die? Or do I take a step? Because taking a step is now faith. It is involving God. Many Christians, they are seated, waiting for God. Waiting for God. Who is supposed to, to wait for the other? God is waiting for you to take a step of faith. And you are seated here waiting for him. God is waiting for you to take a step. Na kujiuliza swali ya kwamba ah mimi kwa hii maisha yangu nikae hapa nikufe Bwana pewe sifa kuna watu ninaongeresha hapa ya kwamba Mungu anataka kukufanya mtu ambao sio wa kawaida lakini shukua hatua ya imani Mungu anataka kubariki kazi ya mikono yako lakini haujaanza biashara haujaanza lazima uanze kitu na lazima kuwe na kitu Na ni hiyo diyo nimemuambia, mungu aliniambia kwamba, it's good and level of God's moving. Oh, God is moving here, brethren. Lift your hands. God is moving. It is good. It is a certain level. But if you want to come to another level, start moving. You yourself take a step of faith. Nini yangalia mungu, anamuambia, ha? Wana wa Israeli, hii ni bahari ya Shamu. Look at this. Hii ni bahari ya Shamu. Let's see. Adui wamekuja. Wana wa Israeli wamekampa hapa. Alafu Musa anamuuliza Mungu, "What next?" Mungu anamwambia Musa, "Acha kuniuliza, apia watu waende, tell people to move forward." To where? And then ni bahari ya Shamu. But God said, "They will die. These people will die." Munaona ya hawa adui? Wamekuja, wamejiptayalisha wafalau. Kwanza wametafutwa, wametafutwa wale ambao wamekamilika. Na farasi zao. They are coming. Musa. Wapia watu hawa wamuke. Watakufa hapa. Tell them to move forward. And then Moses was asking, forward to where? This is, let me see. Akambi wa Musa inua mkijiti yako, fibo yako. Aka inua. Wakati ya upepo, the eastern weed, ilishukua maji. Ikawanyisha manji kukawa dry land. Wakaanza kutembea. Na Musa kazi yako ni nini? Inua fimbo kuwe na jia. Inua fimbo ukielekeza upado wa bahari. People, men of, and women of God. Watu anakufa wakigojia mungu. God is waiting for you to take a step so that you can manifest faith. Mungu akuje 
na wewe umeketi umemngojea you can even die there you can even die there Yesu ameambiwa 5000 5000 5000 men 5000 men are here and you see them this great multitude has been following you for the last 3 days for the last 3 days they have been following you the apostles they came up with a suggestion an idea set them away because the press that we are in is remote it is a remote area and it is dry set them away to the villages wakatafuta kitu ya kula yesu akaambia namna gani wanafunzi and you see they had convincing what the press is dry the press is remote This coming Thursday is Grace Bishop Michael Wandery and CFF Church Kiambu invites you to a crusade at Gidiga Town. Come and be refreshed by the presence of the Holy Spirit and experience the healing power of God. I break every wall. I break every hedge around the your lives in the name of Jesus. It will be held on 20th to 23rd June from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Gidiga Town. Remember it is this coming Thursday 20th to Sunday 23rd and your life will never be the same Set them away Jesus akaangalia Philip akamwambia Philip give them something to eat That is what we call faith Faith is not setting them away Faith is give them something to eat Watatolewa wapi hii itawatosha kweli watu hawa wote But one of the disciples came na akasema ya kwamba ah hakuna kitu lakini kuna kijana mmoja mdogo hapa it's a little a small boy ambaye yako na nini five loaves of bread and then yako na nini na samaki watatu lakini hata yeye ni message ya kudiscourage lakini what is that what is that among all these people what is that mpaka hiyo kidogo haitaki well as job anasema ya kwamba ajapokuwa ule mwanzo wako ulikuwa ni mdogo sana mwisho wako utakuwa ni mkubwa sana Yesu wakati alisikia kuna kitu alisema make this man make these people sit in groups of 50 50 kwa sababu faith imepatikana kuna kitu imepatikana the only reason mahali Yesu aliigilia it is to multiply but who provided the true boy and God told me these people they don't have faith watu ambao wanaonekana wanadharauliwa maana ndio wanachukua hatua wanalisha watu wao wengine wote mimi sikakula yani nikae chini kwanza biblia yangu inasema and men and men in fact it is like what you call it like i don't know what is that taki nyururi and men threw themselves down wakati walisikia wakae into groups of 50 50 my bible says that men threw themselves make Mahayo hiyo ilioneke hii. Wapatiwe chakula na a small boy because they have nothing. Look at what the Bible says. I think it is good I read that scripture. Is it John chapter 6? And the Bible says verses 5. <clears throat> Jesus looked up the, uh, looked up then and seeing that a vast multitude was coming towards him. He said to Philip, "Where are we to buy bread?" so that all these people may eat no one will take this way toko kuna mega teko unaona that is faith multitude na yesu anauliza tutanunua wapi lakini anajua anauliza kwa kutest maana imani yake iko chini sana and then philip said philip said these words and jesus looked and verses 6 but he said to prove or to test him For he was he well knew what he was about to do verse 7 Philip answered him 200 pennies that is 40 dollars worth of bread is not enough that everyone may receive even a little Lakini Biblia inasema verse 8 Another of his disciples listen Another of his disciples Andrew Simon Peter's brother said to him There is a little boy say after me a little boy Not a man not a father a little boy may god help us 
There is a rich boy here who has with him five barley loaves and two small fish. But what are they among so many? Lakini hiyo ni nini? Kwa hao watu wote na hiyo ndio Yesu anataka. Kazi ya Yesu ni moja. Kazi ya Mungu when it comes to faith is one. It is to multiply. Not to provide. You provide him what price. Are you getting what I'm saying? Look at what verse 10 says. Jesus said, make all these people recline or sit down. Now the ground or pasture was covered with thick grass at the spot. So the men threw. So the men threw themselves down. They threw themselves down. Yesu akashukua nini? Jesus took the loaves of bread. Amesikia imepatikana ya mtoto mdogo na ako willing. The little boy is willing to part with the three loaves of bread, five loaves of bread and two fish. He's willing to he's willing to give it out. God is waiting to multiply. Kile uko nasho. Kile hauna Mungu ha multiply. He doesn't use that which you don't have because he's a god and he only works where there is faith. Oh Lord, I'm with you. Oh, you just come, Jehovah God. Your tears, my Lord, Maku, they count elsewhere. Inaitajika mahala pegine. Na inafanya kazi mahala pegine. Lakini upande wa faith. Asha kushakanya na machozi. Amuka. Apana kuyukanisa. Odokeni kwa level ambayo haikai. Take a step of faith. Habakuki. Anasema, can you write down your vision in block letters or capital letters? Iri yeyote ya taona hata kimbia. And that is faith. Sitting down and lighting your, your vision in block letters. Aki mureda maudu taji bo maabesha. Gutire ibesha matwine. We have no money in heaven. Lakini God is able to make you a millionaire. God is able to change our situations only when people will act on faith. Matendo iko wapi? Mungu anauliza ya kwamba where is your faith? Angalia mahali pengine Yesu aliangalia akasema, "Oh faithless generation." Aliya moka ga so that the Lord may touch you. It's a good level. It's a good level. You enjoy. Ana mimi kisemekana hivyo, may the Lord touch you. Unasikia vizuri the touch of God. But if you want something tangible, you must approach your God with acts of faith. Lazima umkuba uje kwake kwa imani. Oh God is moving. God is moving. God is waiting for you to move. God is waiting for Christians to move. To move. I'm waiting for God to move from where to where. He's waiting for you to move. He's waiting for you to stay to take a step. I know that God is able mtu akishukua hatua. I know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Oh God of Abraham. Mungu wa agano, agano la utajili. Utajilisha wa mama. Utajilisha wa baba. Tajilisha vijana. Tajilisha watu katika hili kanisa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nimefungua utajiri wao. Nimefungua jia zao za kutajirika. Shala bahanda la baganda. Rika bahala bozika baganda la baboli la za. Fungua buwana maisha. Fungua akili. Fungua maisha ya watu hawa. Karika jina la yesu. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the I want to pray 
that when you take a step of faith, God will exaggerate that step. Nobody will be able to compete with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it katika hewa hii inisikie. Nobody will be able to compete with you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Gaya kwa hezi feed. Mungu wa kupatia speed. Kama hili alipatia Elia mtishibe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Na katimbia bere ya farasi. Utakimbia bere ya farasi wengi. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalia people. Inua mikono yenu. Kalia people. And let me tell you kalia people. Usikae uajiriwe mpaka uoze mahali bapo. Fungua mabiashara. Fungua ma... Wele joe we wa wafiji. No higura mabiashara. Don't limit yourself. Inua mikono yako bele zabwana. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mungu ni naomba. Ya kwamba hawa unawainua mahala paju. According to your word. The Bible says, Lord Almighty God, promotion does not come from east or west, but it comes from you. Promote them in the name of Jesus. I call for their promotion in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray that God will also promote your life. Yani hii maisha hii maisha sio yako hiyo maisha unaikata Lord Almighty God you are our God I pray dear Lord Almighty God you provide king of glory God jia kwa sababu ya hao mainua mikono yao wafungulie jia za biashara wengine jia za kazi katika jina la Yesu Kristo Amen You can celebrate your victory now hadi kufika pale mtazamaji ndio tutaweka kikomo ama tamati ya kipindi chetu natumai ya kwamba umeweza kubarikiwa kwa ule ujube wa imani faith ninataka kuchukua dakika moja ni kuombe kwa imani wewe ambaye umegojeka kansa wewe ambaye umegojeka arthritis wewe ambaye umegojeka asthma wewe ambaye umegojeka chronic headache wewe ambaye unasubuka kwa magonjwa yote ambayo inasababishwa na mapepo I want to pray by faith kupitia kwa hii luninga ya kwamba God is going to touch you God is going to heal you because he is able to heal you Kubuka neno linasema ya kwamba his name is Jehovah Lover the Lord who healeth all our diseases including HIV and AIDS Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray dear king of glory God that you are going to heal in the name of Jesus Christ, my viewer, I pray, Lord, that you heal HIV and AIDS. I pray that you heal leukemia. I pray, dear Lord Almighty God, that you heal cancer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, na magonjwa yote amboya na yasababishwa na mapepo, I rebuke every kind of infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ninaomba kwa imani ya kwamba Mungu wa Israeli Bwana unaenda kutenda yasiyo ya kawaida kwa sababu watu walio wa imani unawatendea yasiyo ya kawaida. Katika jina la Yesu nimeomba na hata kuamini. Amen. May God bless you so much. Nataka nishukue nafasi hii ni kualike Usome nasi sisi tuko Kiambu Town Christian Foundation Fellowship na pia mikutano yetu ya Crusade ambao tutaanza on tutaanza on Thursday katika mji wa Gedhega. Gedhega iko hapa Kiambu. Tutakuwa mahali pale kwa Crusade kubwa. Ninakualika mahali pale na Mungu akaweze kukubariki. Mara tena kwa majina yangu ni mshugaji Michael Wanderi kutoka kanisa la Christian Foundation Fellowship hapa mjini Kiambu. May God bless you. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>